Here are the honorable mentions. And on behalf of the judges, I would like everyone to know that the judging was done blind. None of the judges were aware of whose images they were seeing. Parvesh, let's get down to it. Hairy experiences. Amit Kiran Manezes shot this bristling army of prominent moth caterpillars and prominent happens to be their actual name given to them. Every creature has been gifted the ability to survive and those fuzzy spines you see serve as defensive armor to ward off predators. We humans actually should be learning a thing or two about unity being a survival strategy. There is safety in numbers and divided we will fall. Fly-by-night operator. This otherworldly creature is a longhorn beetle and Apoor Jadav shot this incredible image in Lonar, Maharashtra, where some women actually welcome the arrival of longhorns by decorating themselves with turmeric and kumkum because the beetle, they believe, heralds the arrival of the life-giving Indian monsoon. Bubble butt. Those glistening bubbles are excretions of plant sap upon which these amazing thrip nymphs survive. You would probably never have known of their existence if Lucky Jaiswal, and yes, Lucky is his real name, had not magnified the image many times over. Interestingly, male thrips develop from unfertilized eggs and females from fertilized eggs. Nature art. Lying quietly on a Badlapur forest floor in Maharashtra, this African tulip tree seed has caught the eye of two wasps. The burnt orange glaze, the papery quality of seed wings and the diaphanous wings of the wasps caught the eye of the photographer, Sitaram Dinkar Rao, who shot this exquisite painting-like image. Every last thing of beauty in nature, of course, serves a distinct purpose. Survival, and the perpetuation of the species. Drinking problem. Lion-tailed macaques helped save Silent Valley in Kerala when Stephen Green wrote to the Bombay Natural History Society to alert them to the danger posed to these amazing primates and to their co-inhabitants from a hydroelectric project. The late Zafar Futeh Ali and Salim Ali joined hands with the likes of Satish Chandra Nair and Dr. V. S. Vijayan of the Kerala Forest Research Institute. The late poet Subhita Kumari also joined in. And they together led thousands of people who launched a movement that actually stopped the dam. In the right hands, photography is a conservation tool, as evidenced by the image of this macaque and its plastic nemesis. The image was shot in Valparai, Tamil Nadu by Kiruba Bose. We hope that images like this will take plastic bottles out of the hand of wild species and the scourge of disposable plastics out of the reach of insensitive manufacturers. Now for the Certificates of Merit, Parvesh. Look what Ketty did. No, it's not an aerial image of Paddy Field. Look closely and you will see the protagonist. It's a tiny cricket like Ketty did nymph that has created an impressive latticework design in the process of devouring the soft digestible portions of a leaf. A low car had to get down and dirty to photograph this natural history phenomena from under the leaf 
under an azure sky in Kuch Bihar, West Bengal. End of the line. Livid red lines of passing traffic outshine the dark red blood on the road. In Tonk, Rajasthan, Rajesh Chaudhary knelt on the dark black-topped highway to shoot his haunting image of a young, freshly killed jackal. Pained, he said he could hear the howl of what he believed to be the mother of the youngling. Sanctuary's campaign for roadless wildernesses, called Roads to Nowhere, seeks to waken planners to the myopia of trying to save time for humans by shoving roads through our finest biodiversity habitat. It does no good either to build roads on steep Himalayan slopes when the roads are destined to die at the hands of the next massive landslide. Thus far, however, our planners seem to have eyes wide shut to this problem, which often takes a heavier toll of wild species than the illegal poaching trade. Night shift. Did you miss the tiny Asian palm civet peeping out from under a cement ramp over a drain in Mongeli, Chhattisgarh? Shashwat Jaiswal caught the nocturnal creature which comes out when humans sleep. Encouraging biodiversity to return to urban areas is not a matter of aesthetics or animal rights. It's a strike strategy to help our cities adapt to and for us to mitigate the worst impacts of climate change. Sanctuary is working with colleagues across the world to explain this to city managers, and we have every hope of succeeding because we have a network of over 1 million people, young people, on our side. Water war. At Mathiran, a hill station in Maharashtra, Mandar Ghumare documented a battalion of whirligig beetles puttering frantically as they converged to attack a water strider. It's the law of the jungle and the corporate world, I guess. Eat or be eaten. What impressed our judges was the aesthetic way in which dim turquoise tones captured the chaotic trails of aggressive beetles even as the strider was kept in sharp focus. Maternal care. Dull compared to her flamboyant mate, this peahen protectively envelops not one, not two, but three adorable young chicks in the soft embrace of her wings. Saurabh Bharati took this endearing image in Jaipur, Rajasthan's incredible city forest, Jalana, possibly one of the world's best forests in which to spot leopards, hyenas, and a host of other creatures, small and large, alongside which this mother hopes to bring up her young. Editor's choice. Yes, yes, being the editor of Sanctuary Asia comes with some perks. I get to choose an image that moved me most from among the thousands that are submitted each year to us. This incredible image of a male orangutan climbing up his tree was shot by Thomas Vigian, one of the world's finest photographers. It was shot in the wet forests of Borneo. And the blue you see under the ape is a sky reflected in a pool of water in the orangutan's moist home. Forgive the anthropomorphic sentiment, but surely everyone can see hope in the eyes of this great ape as it reaches, not just for a sturdy branch to propel itself upward, but questioning its insensitive cousin, Homo sapiens, to ask, is a safer world in reach? The third prize, 
for the Sanctuary Wildlife Photography Awards 2021 was won by Sridhar Sivram for his incredible image titled Collision Course. Three men crammed on one motorbike slammed straight into a wild leopard crossing a road inside the Ranthambo Tiger Reserve. Fortunately, none of the four were injured, but the judges were gripped by this image that graphically illustrates the chaos that takes place when hordes of pilgrims, sometimes numbering an astounding one million worshippers when they enter the forest. They come to access a temple atop the Ranthambo Hill Fort using what has come to be known as Mandir Marg or Temple Road and they come to worship Ganesh, the much-loved elephant god. It is this very veneration that has allowed India to protect the tiger against all odds down the ages. But as the balance of the natural world turns dangerously shaky, one can only hope that the ancient veneration of nature will resurface to call a halt to the destruction of the sources of life we worship. Land, water and air. The second prize winner is Sandeep Das for his image, Three's a Crowd. Every year, as the rains begin to sweep across Kerala, adult purple frogs emerge from their burrows for just one day of romance and reproduction. From his burrow, the male frog calls out loudly for a mate, and when she arrives, he climbs onto her back for amplexus. She then carries him to a torrential stream where she will lay her eggs, which are fertilized by him. They then part ways and retreat underground for another year. But here in the Thrissur Forest Division, the amorous plans of a mating pair have gone awry. The female purple frog finds herself ensnared in a sticky string of common Indian toad eggs. The over-enthusiastic toad clambered on top of her mate, adding to the load on her back. The rough substrate, the pearlescence of the eggs, the bubbled texture of the toad skin, the glutinous grasp of the purple frog's toes. This exceptional natural history moment was documented skillfully in this beautifully textured image by you, Sandeep. And friends, the Sanctuary Wildlife Photographer of the Year 2021 is Ganesh Chaudhary for his poignant image, Entangled. A Gangetic dolphin rises from the depths of West Bengal's murky Hooghly River to scoop up a fish caught in a gill net. These freshwater dolphins once flourished in the deep parts of the Gangetic River system. Today, they are categorized as endangered. The damming of rivers and out of control pollution levels have sullied their waters and made large sections of their habitat uninhabitable. Here in the Hooghly River, where fish populations are in decline, river dolphins have taken to picking off fish caught in nets set across parts of the river. It's a high risk heist though. When the nets get entangled in dolphin beaks, the air-breathing freshwater mammals could suffer grievous injuries or starve to death. By some estimates, this year alone, nine dolphins died along a mere five-kilometer stretch of the river in just five months as a result of precisely these entanglements. This astonishing image reveals the beauty of the dolphin, its polished silver-gray skin, scallop-edged fins and fine-pointed teeth, all the while illustrating the dangers to its survival so apparent in the net hanging from its beak and the thermocole bobbing in the foreground.